Hi, how are you doing this morning? Welcome to the Event Industry Facebook Live. I am the founder of the Event Industry, Jen Singer. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. Thank you for coming. Um, this um, platform I've developed to help support fellow event planners. Um, I've been managing events for over 16 years. Um, out of that time, I've had my own business for the last three years. And I started to create some tools or processes um, or just elements of like lots of years of experience over the years of planning all these events. And I thought that there might be fellow event planners that want to um, benefit from that. And, and I could share my expertise. Um, so every Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I go live and talk about a topic and answer any questions that you might have. Uh, so today we are talking about contract negotiation. And contract negotiation can be pretty intimidating. Um, there are some fellow event planners that I've talked to or even um, students who have said that this is something that like, they find really challenging because they don't have a lot of experience and they just don't know um, kind of how to navigate the whole process. And I'm gonna outline a couple things today to consider um, for negotiating your contract with either like a venue or maybe a vendor, say an entertainment band, um, maybe a decor company. All of those are negotiable. So just kind of take that into mind. And there's a few different things to consider as you're going through the whole negotiation process. So first and foremost, identify your advantage. Okay, and the most obvious advantage is uh, you're a client and or you're representing a client and someone is running a business and they would like to get your business and that is, that is your advantage and you can use that to your advantage. But another thing to consider um, aside from like a bonus advantage is if you are someone that might book multiple events with this particular vendor or venue, or if you represent an industry, um, my, my business, Jen Singer Events, I do a lot of corporate events and I do a lot of social. I do no weddings. So sometimes um, the business I'm bringing could be a little bit more attractive to a particular vendor because they want to do something outside of weddings. Not that there's anything wrong with weddings. Um, a lot of stuff I talk about can apply to weddings and other events. It's just, just not what I do. Um, but that could be my advantage sometimes is that a group would, or a vendor would like to actually work with more corporate clients. And so they're willing to um, give a discount or consider that with, within the thing, the elements that we discussed, whether it's price or um, elements involved. And we'll get to that um, towards the end of like price is not the only thing that you can negotiate. So. Um, your advantage could be that you're just a client or that you represent clients that are attractive or that the, the, the company, the vendor is actually new to the industry in general and they're looking to book new business. So that might be your advantage as well. So consider what your advantage is and this will help you in for number two. And number two is be confident and assertive. Now, don't waver, you know, just go into the situation going, this is what we need for the event. I'm bringing you business. This is going to be great. But also you're representing, you know, a budget and a need and you need to kind of work within that. And that's just going to be a go back and forth. So kind of related to buying a car. Like if you arrive at the car, at the car lot and you get out and you look like a timid mouse, those salesmen are going to eat you alive. Now, event vendors are definitely not as intimidating as that. But the situation, especially with hotels, can be a, a little intimidating. So just approach it with confidence that you are bringing the business and you are coming to the table and um, ready to kind of look at all the options and get the best price for, for your event, um, and as you should. So just keep that in mind. The third, the third element is ask lots of questions. Now this will just help in terms of what you're able to negotiate, whether that's the price or items included. So say for instance, you um, are working with a hotel um, or working with a venue that has um, chairs that are um, available and the chairs that are available um, are usually um, $3 a chair, but you're trying to see if maybe you can get them for a dollar a chair and that could be something that you negotiate. So asking all a lot of questions as you're going through the process of inquiry 
can be very helpful to kind of see what are things that you know could be negotiated whether that's a price on a chair or things that are included um, could be something that you add um, it's really easy for a venue to kind of throw in you know or discount chairs versus labor because that's time that they have to pay like an actual person so just kind of or food too it's like it's harder for them to discount food of like the menu and stuff that they have to purchase for your guests too. So the other elements that are, you know, might come along and might just be a price that could vary um, are easier lifts for, for your vendors to, uh, to consider. Um, the other element related to asking questions is you might want to visit um, or download our free guide, um, 17 Questions to Ask on a Venue Tour. If you go to theeventindustry.com, that's theeventindustry.com, there's plenty of um, awesome freebies um, that we've created, and one of them is 17 questions you should be asking on a venue tour, and some of these elements, uh, some of these questions that we put together will definitely help in this contract. So um, you might want to download that and see if that could um, help you in the negotiating process. Okay, so number four, um, be respectful and friendly. Um, this might sound like an obvious thing. I mean, I know it's like be assertive and be confident, but also it's still like catch more bees with honey sort of philosophy that, people are going to um, want to do business with people they actually like. And, you know, being demanding or the squeaky wheel um, may not be the best avenue to get the best price um, or get the best agreement for, for you or your client. So be respectful and friendly. Um, having friends in the industry or having friends that are vendors can definitely be very, very helpful. Okay, and the fifth element is kind of relates to some of the things I just talked about is that price is not the only thing that you can negotiate. So say for instance, um, a band, maybe they have um, like a 3000 minimum um, for a Saturday night, like that is their going rate um, for the you know time frame that you're giving them. The one thing you could maybe negotiate is equipment included. Um, or time that they're playing. So maybe you start with, um, say this is gonna be two hours of playing at $3,000, but you're like, well, they're not gonna come down in that, but maybe we can offer more entertainment. Let's see if they'll play for two and a half hours or something. So, um, or back to the other example of about the chairs, or maybe additional, um, you know, they discount, um, I don't know, additional tables or something. There are other elements to um, to consider beyond just like the actual price of something that could be something that you throw in that could save you money, enhance the event. So consider those elements when, um, when doing the negotiation. So I hope this was helpful um, with your next contract. If you have any questions, I would uh, be happy to answer them. Um, you can also send me questions at hello at theeventindustry.com. That's T-H-E, eventindustry.com. And um, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next Friday at the same time. Oh, one more thing. We are launching a digital course yes, it's very exciting, in mid-July. So details on that coming. Um, if you've enjoyed some of this information, especially about contract negotiation, and we'll go into this a bit more in depth. So um, you wanna tune in next week. I will have a specific date and some elements to, exciting elements to share with you. So thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week.